Namaste to all of you. First of all, I would like to admire the entire team of Ramanujan College, respected principal sir and my loving friends. Today's subject is healthy aging. Isn't it a very interesting subject? Because nobody wants to become old faster, isn't it? Everybody thinks that aging should be slow, but what kind of effort we do? Basically, aging is a natural process which takes place in our body. Some people have it very rapidly, some people have it very slow. It depends how the lifestyle of a person is having. There are few things happen in our body with this aging process after certain age when we become old. There are few uh, changes happen in our body like our joints become stiff, muscles become weak and stiff, digestion becomes slow, slow digestive system memory becomes poor, concentration becomes poor. So, these are the few things which takes place in our body with this process, with the aging process. There are few practices in yoga through which definitely we can slow down the process. So, I am taking few parts of the body in this program. First, I will teach you few practices for the entire joint and muscles, how to keep the muscles and the joints supple, flexible. So, let us do some exercises, some asanas, very subtle asanas for the joints and muscles to keep them supple. After that, gradually we will do something for the memory something for the digestive system and something for the entire body. So, this will be the program of today. So, let us do first thing which is for the joint. So, first of all you have to stretch your legs forward like this. We are going to stretch each and every part of the body in this plan. First joint is toes. So, bend your toes like this, maximum forward and backward, forward and backward. Try to stretch them as much as possible, stretch, release all the stiffness, tensions from the toes like this. Inhale while taking them back means stretch towards you and exhale away from you. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. 7, 8 times, 10 times you do it and then after toes, ankles. Ankles are very, very important joint in our body because you put the whole body weight on your ankles. So, this joint should be flexible, should be supple like this. Breathe in towards you and breathe out down. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Make sure that you are sitting straight while performing the subtle asanas. Do not sit like this, do not sit like this because if you sit like this you can restrict the flow of energy, flow of prana shakti, flow of blood in your spine which is not right. So, try to keep the spine straight as much as possible. I understand in the beginning it would be really difficult, 
but as you practice every day keeping the spine straight will be easier breathe out breathe in 7 8 times 10 times and then rotation breathe out forward breathe in back breathe out forward breathe in back breathe out forward breathe in back like this clockwise 5 7 times and then anti clockwise once you understand how to do the practice then try to keep the eyes closed and focus on what you do. Yoga means awareness. So if you maintain your awareness, your body works better. Breathe out, forward, breathe in, back. Then shake, loosen the ankles. After ankles, your knee. So bend the leg like this, keep the spine straight, hold the hold your thigh with the interlocked hands like this. Breathe out, push it and breathe in, open it, stretch it. Breathe out, squeeze and breathe in, release. Very good movement to keep the knee supple, flexible. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Five, seven times, ten times. Like this. Five, seven times, ten times and after that your other leg. Hold the thigh like this, interlocked hands and then breathe in, stretch, breathe out, bend. Breathe in, stretch, breathe out, bend. Breathe in, this will release all the stiffness from the joint, particularly the knee. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in breathe out like this five seven times or ten times after this after knee bending knee rotation also rotate the knee so you have to bend the legs like this like you bent it in previous position when you did the knee stretch like this now you bend the leg again like this and hold the thigh same as previous position and then rotate the knee this way so try to rotate the knee only, not the whole body. Sometimes we dance on the floor while performing the asana, which is very wrong. So try to focus on the particular joint you are working on. Connect the movement with the breath. Focus, maintain the awareness. Try to know what you do, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Experience that you are making the knee flexible. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Then the other leg, bent, hold like this or like this, whichever way you like to hold, whichever way is comfortable for you. Hold the thigh that way, breathe in, Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Try to make the practice meditative. Breathe in, breathe out and after that reverse, clockwise, anti-clockwise, five, seven times or ten times. Very good. Then after knees, your hip joint. For hip joint, let's do a practice called half butterfly. Bend this leg, put the foot on the thigh 
if not possible to keep the foot closer to the groin in the beginning, not an issue. Put it here. If not possible here, put it here. Means in the beginning, do not fight with your body. So put it here and then like this. Breathe out towards you and breathe in down. So while doing this, keep the other leg straight, foot flex. No, don't put it like this. I have seen people doing butterfly in the park and in many various places doing it this way. What does it mean? Nothing happened in our body. So try to keep it straight, spine straight and then do it. Breathe out towards you and breathe in down. Focus what you do. Focus on your movement. Focus on the stretch like this, 5, 7 times, 10 times slow and then faster like you are playing basketball like this. Loosen the joint, loosen it. Yes, this series improves the blood circulation throughout the body, stops the restriction in the way of flowing blood. Then same thing with the other leg bent. Put it here, close to the groin and then slow movement first of all. Check all the key points before performing. Your other leg should be straight, foot flex, spine straight, head neck straight. Breathe out towards you like this holding it and push it like you are holding a baby and then breathe in down. And then fast, like a basketball. Good. Stretch, relax, loosen. And after single leg butterfly, we shall do butterfly with both legs, in which you join your feet in front of you like this and hold your toes with the interlocked hands and do it. Breathe in, breathe out, spine straight, normalize your breath, feel the stretch on the hip joint, groin, open up the stress, the stiffness, breathe in, breathe out, spine straight, It's a very, very important movement, particularly those who sit for long hours, stand for long hours like teachers, professors, shopkeepers, very important because after center certain time, they develop backache because of the stiffness in the hip joint. So try to do this release the stiffness and become free from all these negative things like this. Very nice. After hip joint, let's do something for the hands because there are few joints in the hands also like finger, finger joint. So stretch your arms forward this way and like this. Make a tight fist. Open up your hands. You must have seen people having anti, look, sorry, uh, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, in which they develop pain in the joint, finger joint, toes, and other, and different different areas. So that is why this series is called anti-rheumatic series, anti-rheumatism. So it's good for those who have arthritis in the fingers and in any other part of the body. Like this and then shake them, loosen them. 
And also when you are stretching these joints, you are activating the pran shakti there, you are activating the cells, regenerating, recharging the cells, improving the circulation of blood, developing the connectivity with the brain and the part of the body. Your brain understands what to do for the part of the body, right? So this is very important point that you develop the connectivity, uh, connectivity with a particular part of the body you are working with. Breathe in and breathe out. So that is why I always say that whenever you do these practices, do it with full awareness. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out five, seven times and ten times or ten times and then rotate them. Wrist rotation, clockwise, anti-clockwise, like this. If you, do, if you want to do it this way, fine, no problem, this way or this way. Whichever way you like, the aim is to rotate the wrist. Very good. Now, after wrist, elbows. Stretch, palm facing up, bend, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Good for tennis elbow, elbow pain, elbow stiffness. Stretch, bend, stretch like this. And after elbow, your shoulders. So bend, put the hands on the shoulders this way, join the elbows, breathe in, raise the hands up, bring the back down, expand the chest, open up the shoulder joint, inhale, exhale, very good. Inhale, exhale, very good practice for shoulder joint, make the joint smooth, good for cervical spondylitis, because cervical is a very common problem these days, we develop in the very early age because of the lifestyle, wrong postures. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Yes, five, seven times, ten times. And after shoulders, your neck, very important part of the body. Few movements for the neck. First movement is looking upwards and downwards. Inhale. Bring the head up. Keeping the eyes open because sometimes we can feel giddy with the closed eyes. So in the beginning, keep the eyes open. Don't stretch the neck too much. Don't push it too much. Movement should be smooth. Very gentle, breathe out, forward, breathe in back, five, seven times or ten times and then sideways bending this way. So with this sideways bending, few mistakes we do, like we keep the hands stretched like this, which is not right. So keep the upper arms with the shoulder line like this and then try to bend sideways, not front, not too much back. Sideways, feel the stretch on the side of the neck. Breathe in, 
breathe out other side. It improves the blood supply in the neck. Breathe out side, breathe in center, breathe out side, breathe in center. 5, 7 times or 10 times and then twisting, breathe out side and breathe in center. Do not do it fast, movement should be smooth, rhythmic, gentle, slow. Experience the movement of the muscles of the neck, how the muscles are performing. Experience everything inside your body. If you do the, uh, the practice this way, this will develop the connectivity of the brain with the body. Like this. Now relax, normalize the breath, breathe in and breathe out. After this series, this Pavan Muktasan series, anti rheumatoid series, do the Shavasan. In Shavasan, lie down on the floor on your back. hands besides the body like this, legs are slightly apart, spine, head and neck in one line and gently close the eyes. Become aware of your whole body lying on the floor. Feel the whole body lying on the floor. Become aware of the right hand, left hand, right leg, left leg, both hands and both legs, experience them all together. Become aware of the lower back, shoulder joint, shoulder blades, the neck, head, whole face, the whole body completely. Become aware of the whole body completely lying on the floor. Experience the whole body completely. Now bring your awareness to your toes, all ten toes. See the post effects of the series of Pavan Muktasana anti rheumatoid series. See the post effects on your toes. Ankles, knees, hip joint, all the ten fingers, both the wrist, both the elbows, both the shoulders, the whole neck, whole neck, whole neck, 
experience the whole body lying on the floor, experience the circulation of the blood throughout the body, circulation of prana shakti, prana throughout the body, experience that, experience that new cells are generating, new cells are generating. You are becoming healthier, you are becoming stronger, experience. Relax, 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 now leave the awareness of your body and breath, move the hands, legs, head side to side and then take a turn, sit up. Sit up, spine straight, observe the breath, rub the hands, put them on the eyes and then open the eyes.